Hey guys, so I just got off the airline job, but I wanted to reply to this comment in time because I know you're getting ready to go to Puerto Vallarta, so this is like the perfect time to give you this advice because I actually just did a presentation for something like a timeshare in Puerto Vallarta, so I wanted to touch on that before you left. So yes, I'm using a filter because I am like wind and rain blown. It's been stormy in the Pacific Northwest and I work an outside job, so filter it is. But if you want to know about these timeshare presentations and all the goodies and perks you can get out of it, then you need to wait and watch this video all the way through. I promise it'll be worth it. If you've never seen me before, my name is Mia. I am a traveler of 20 years, travel agent, airline employee, and I help people to travel smarter, not harder. So I've actually personally done two different timeshares in my life. The first timeshare, I got a free day cruise out of it, went to the Bahamas for two days. It was awesome. Um, all I had to do was go to a hotel presentation and it was like maybe an hour long when I was in Florida the night before and I was done. I got a whole nice two day cruise out of it. I got to do excursions. I got to do all the things I paid for the excursions, but they were super inexpensive. I didn't have to pay for the cruise at all. And there was a bunch of like added things on the cruise that I got. So super goody i honestly don't even know how i got this timeshare so it was my brother's fiance at the time she had got something sent in the mail to her and she was able to bring people so she brought her friend my brother and me not quite sure how she got that timeshare but if you ever get anything sent in the mail it's probably legit you just probably have to go to an hour-long presentation which if you want a free day cruise out of it i mean why not and the presentations in florida and it's like an hour of your life but the one that I recently did in Puerto Vallarta, so when you like start to leave the airport, like right before you get to the taxi area, so you've already gotten your bags, you're going to see an area with a bunch of like desks and there's going to be all these people coming up and talking to you. It's completely up to you whether you want to do this or not, but I'm personally saying it's worth it. There was some amazing guys we got to meet and yes, their job is to get you to go to this presentation. I kind of knew by the way they were talking, trying to sell you on everything. So I was kind of like waiting for the point, but I got so many free perks out of it. So me and my coworker both went and while we're at the desk and they're telling us about Puerto Vallarta in general, like they're just showing us the map, they're showing us the city. So first of all, knowledge, this was my first time. And so I got to like learn all about Puerto Vallarta, where all the areas are, literally got kind of like a free tour guide out of the deal. Meanwhile, they are bringing you margaritas right and left. Like he's like literally whistling, like bring more, bring more. Come on, keep bringing them, bringing them. And this was my birthday trip. So he was like, oh, we're definitely bring more. So <laughs> free drinks, which I know Mexico's cheap, but like if you can just get free, a lot of free things out of it. Plus we were staying in an all inclusive. This whole trip was like bomb and like just a bunch of free things. So included in this, we got a free taxi ride in one of their premium cars. So it was a nice, like super blacked out leather, super nice car to our hotel. And we got a free bottle of our choice of tequila. I chose the agave tequila because it was so good. He was giving a shot to that at the airport and it was like bomb. Plus we get to stay in one of their five star super high rise resorts which you will get to see at the presentation for $99. I mean who's gonna say no to $99 for five star luxury? I... Then we got a free ride from our hotel to the other side of Puerto Vallarta because our all-inclusive resort was near the airport and this like five star luxury resort was all the way on the other side of Puerto Vallarta like on the other end. It's in a more quieter kind of exclusive place. So we got a ride to there we got a free breakfast overlooking the ocean. It was absolutely gorgeous. Then they take you on a tour of this resort. And by the way, when you go up to this resort, there's literally gold gates, like gold gates. Like I probably would not be able to afford to stay in a place like this. And so the fact that I even just gotta go walk around was super cool. I will be able to afford this one day, but like right now, probably not. So we gotta go tour the like high rise rooms, ones that you can like have multiple families in, one you can stay long term in. And we got to just hang out, chill. We could take pictures, just literally do whatever you want. So nice. 
great for Instagram photos. It's literally like a free session at a luxury resort. And then you sit down and you just listen to a presentation. They're really going to sell you hard on it. Honestly, we said no and we didn't lose any of our free perks. They still gave us a free taxi ride to the airport after. I didn't have to pay for transportation at all when I was in Mexico. Plus, I got a bunch of free perks. I made new friends out of the deal. And honestly, like it was a cool presentation to sit through. And it's another aspect to the travel industry because some people like having a timeshare. So it was very valuable information to me, even though it wasn't for me, I let them know, hey, if I ever have anybody that wants this style of traveling, they want this kind of like special place they can always rely on all over the world that works for them, perfect. I know who to refer to now. So it also helped me build networking relationships. So there was a lot of perks out of it, I feel like for me personally, but even in general without being a travel agent and needing to do the networking, look at all the free perks I got out of that easily worth a hundred plus. So if you ever get people that are trying to like smooth you or talk to you or try to come have you look at their presentation, just make them give you deals, make them give you the deals. You know, like if you seem like a hard sell, but you're still talking to them, they'll keep giving you more. Cause at the end of the day, like if you go to their presentation, that person that's trying to sell you on it just for going to the presentation, they make their money. Now, if you buy into it, then the people who are giving you the tours, they make the money. So they're going to press you hard, but just stick to your guns. If you're not interested, don't get it. Take on the perks though. And again, if you get anything about a timeshare in the mail, also something to look into, just read the fine print, read all the details, see where you're getting out of it. If it just requires sitting for an hour long con like conversation, so easy. Honestly, that's all we did at that like luxury resort. Like the walking around and touring it was honestly super fun. We were having a blast with it and getting to see a really cool place we probably would have never saw. But the actual sitting down and having a conversation, that was like an hour. And at the end of the day, they realized the gig that I have between my travel agent discounts and my airline discounts, like it just wasn't worth me doing a timeshare. But for some people, maybe it is. I know this is long, but juicy details. And honestly, I'm going to end with some quick tips about how to survive a timeshare presentation. Go unprepared, knowing exactly what you're walking into. Like I said, read the fine print, ask all the questions, know exactly what you're getting out of it. Keep in mind, you're going into a sales pitch, so don't be surprised. They're trying to push and sell you something. But again, stick to your guns. Silence is your strength, so just let them keep talking. The more you keep saying no, the more they tend to offer as well. But at the end, you still do not have to buy into it. Be on guard for whatever angle they try to spin. Again, whatever feels right to you, stick to your guns. Have prepared a reason why you're not buying into it. Not never sorry. Never disclose that you were there for like the freebies or anything. Just give them a reason. For me, it was because I get amazing perks as a travel agent and amazing perks as an airline employee. And that honestly, I spent like $300 on my Mexico trip and the prop, the cost of their timeshare was not going to beat the rate that I get right now. And they were asking me about longevity. I said, well, I plan on staying in the travel industry as a travel agent and some form of airline employee for the rest of my life. So longevity wise, this is going to be the better route for me come up with whatever angle works for you. And if you really are interested in a timeshare, because this is honestly something that does work better for other people, don't buy at the pitch, make them work for it. Make them work for it. Have them give you all the perks. And honestly, they were offering us like literally half the rate or less at the end of it. So keep saying no, hard press until that last possible deal where they don't go down anymore. And those are my tips. If you want any more tips on traveling or anything within the travel industry follow for more and also feel free to comment your questions below and i will try to get them answered as quick as i can